Here's a quick follow-up tip on how to easily get a rich styled macro if you're not comfortable with manual HTML coding. The first thing we want to do is to get to a rich text editing field where you can visually make it how you want to look. So let's go to answers and we're not actually going to ask a question, just answer, put some gibberish in this field and post it. It's not going to go live. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're just testing. So test and then test again and you can go ahead and style this however you want. Just use the formatting toolbar and we can even enter an image. So this image button on the toolbar, just click that and we can pick one for simplicity's sake here that I've already uploaded. So pick that one, make it small. Do note, we're aware that currently is a bug where your image doesn't always reliably show up that way. If it doesn't, you may wanna to go to preview and then you'll, you'll be able to see it or it just bounces back anyway. But the key thing is you go into HTML tab, so click that, and you want to select all this or just the parts that you want insert in the macro, but right now it's all this, and copy that. So I'm gonna do, I'm on a Mac right now, so Command C, but Control C on Windows. And then we've got that. And now we go back to my settings. Let's just leave that page, we're fine. And macros, and I'm gonna just call this one rich test. And I'm gonna go ahead and Command V, so Control V to paste that and it's there, all right. And now save changes. So what you'll notice is the next time you go to make a response, again, go back to answers, the previous one didn't actually post. And then just anywhere, go ahead to macros and choose your test. And it should appear just like that. Pretty nifty, eh?